Got fucking booked, baby. It's all going down on August 31st at the shelter in New Jersey. Got a message from Mass Movement Wrestling asking if I could be a commentator at the show. Oh, fuck yeah, baby. It's gonna be me and Jay Wise on the commentary booth. I've always wanted this my entire life, and it's finally fucking here. Thank you so much to Joe and Justin. I will not let you guys down. Hit me up for ticket info. Deathmatch takeover has just begun. Welcome back to the Saw Deathmatch Documentary Part 4. Hasn't been any more Saw Deathmatches until last year in August. It's crazy, it's actually the opener of the whole show. Match is Lil Sicko versus John Rare versus Brian White in a Saw Forever Deathmatch. One would usually do the match with Spider Boudreau, but Spider passed away from COVID. Match took place during the quarterfinals of IWA Deep South's Carnage Cup 13. They had the ring set up in some dude's backyard, and bro, it was fucking amazing. Match went down on October 21st of 2023 in McKenzie, Tennessee. All Forever is like box cutters, firecrackers, razor wire, barbed wire, light tubes, and so much more. Match is a three-way with one fall, so two of the guys move on. Take out your fucking tampon, sit back and relax. It's Blaco with the Draco, I'm gonna talk you through it and have you sick to your stomach like charcoal fluid. Shot fades in of Larry Legend and the ref standing in the hexagon ring. You can think of and imagine. Get a shot of Lil Sicko making his way to the ring. Here we go. Builds up a steel chair with gimmicks on it, and he has like a medieval ball and chain. From the circle of chaos, this Whoever that dude is in the white Charles Manson shirt is sexy as fuck. His chair has like a shitload of fucking saw blades sticking out of it. IWA Deep South kicking things off. He's sick, go start walking away and he puts the chair down. Stands up with his ultra violent ball and chain and climbs on that chair and gets in the ring. Should be a hellish day. But only one will walk out of here with 13 being his lucky number. Only one. We'll win it all, little sicko. Bro, this kid's Not fucking nuts. Off. Get a shot from the hard cam of sicko what ready to go. Match of the weekend. What does he have? Like a mini Walks around the ring and Larry gets back on the mic. Let's get Bikes. our next fight down here to the battleground. Here's some insane clown posse start up. Another varmint going by. Larry hears the oddities theme song and starts dancing. I think there's a beehive nearby. Maybe that'll be introduced into the death matches. Ref walks over and throws Sicko's garb out. Referees basically Who are only there their way down? to count the shoulders down. To the Anything battle goes, battle. obviously, in these matches. He is the death match juggler, Brian. Get a shot of Brian coming to the ring and he's got something. Jumps up and down getting hyped and says what's good to the Blake Oaken. You see his graphic on the screen and he tells the fans to give it up. Entire weekend, end of the tournament. Will Sicko awaiting that man, Brian White. Oh, this should be a doozy. These guys actually- Brian's been busting his ass and deserves this shot. Very well with one another. Big turnout for those who All of a sudden, it looks like Sicko's like trying to kiss Larry. We made it. Larry Legend better watch his back. See him walk up to the camera and say what's oh, good, and then he starts scary. walking over to the chair. A couple molars missing. Oh, Brian and Sicko just vibe in the ring, knowing they're about to kill each other. And our final. Waiting. Takes a long fucking time, but we finally hear John's music. This opener. See Brian throw his first shirt out of the ring, and then he starts taking off another. I know this song. All of a sudden, Sicko grabs razor wire and chews on it. Oh my god. Kid is fucking nuts, bro. That, sicko. What is he? I guess that's one his, way to kill time though. Getting his teeth out? That's one way to do it, I guess. 
We're just talking about the... The hard cam, we see Larry and the ref with both men in the ring. Oh, look at these guys. Men just stand there waiting for the angel of death, John Ray. We are in the deep, deep south today. Larry finally starts his introduction. Your final fighter! Will be put on the map after today. What a weekend this is going to be, fans. The men stand there for an eternity waiting on John. All of a sudden, we get a shot of the sexiest motherfucker alive. Seems to be a really good guy, and he's so fucking handsome. Here at the uh, production table in the announce booth. John walking around in the back. There he is. Oh, right behind me. See them both still patiently waiting. John brought out a scythe and he starts walking oh, to the ring with it. The angel of death, John Rare. Don't forget, this is the Masked man. up John Rare starts making his way over to the chair. Carnage Cup number 10. Back in February of 2015, and yours truly, yes, I was there, fans. All three men are in the ring, and Larry does his spiel. And ladies and gentlemen, this will be a Saw Forever match. Brian and Sicko are ready to go, and we see John taking his shirt off. Wow. Lil Sicko, Brian White, the angel of death. Brett finally calls for them to ring the bell. Carnage Cup winner in his own right. And there it is, signaling for the bell right there. Here we go. Triple threat to kick things off. Chris Kloss. All three men stand there in the sun. Of Larry, Larry Rivera. Then start arguing in the ring, but we can't hear them. One walks up and slaps Sicko. Legend! What's more important? Chops Brian, and all three men start exchanging chops. Saw Forever death match. You tell me about that. Saw Forever. I ate. See John and Brian team up on Sicko real quick. John turns on him and clocks him. Road with a lot of gravel. No John gives him an Irish whip, but he gets countered and almost hits the barbed wire. John Rare, oh, putting on the brakes right there. Brian White. What a beautiful day for Carnage. Beautiful, you call this. Get a shot on the hard cam, and we see John exit the ring. Square circle, octagon, a sacrifice. Yep, six-sided ring, first time. Brian and Sicko are ready to get down and start circling the ring. Brian White. Well, he is the deathmatch juggalo. Absolutely right. And walk up and lock up. Here to win today. Lock up now. Between little sick. Sicko grabs Brian in a headlock. Are you kidding me? Some actual wrestling. Both men end up taking a knee in the ring, and we see John Rare come in with tubes. With the grabs. And that, and that, uh. That we thought John was going to throw it at him, but he gets on top of Sicko and headbutts it into his head. Oh! Did you see that headbutt? Right between the eyes, glass! Puts the glass in front of Sicko's face and hits it with the rest of the two. Sacrifice with no canvas, John Rare sacrifices. Walks up and throws it outside the ring and sets his sights on that giant fucking skewer board. Yeah, indeed, Circle. indeed, you're right. All right, okay. I mean, see John kick Brian in the head and then go up to Sicko. For God's sake. Absolutely. Big kick now right there. On takes a few steps back and Sicko runs at him but gets hip tossed into the spike. Oh, but never for this. Look at that. Check out my angle of the spot. Let's go, Rare. Get the skewers. Well, you Don know, just picks up the entire skewer board and goes up and throws it at Brian. Oh, God. Oh, my God. But this shit Don just takes a bunch of the giant skewers off the board. Look at those skewers! Look at the size of them! They're giants! And they're and they're and they're oh, he's gonna little and see him crouch on the mat really quick, and he starts stacking up the skewers until they're all in a bundle. He immediately starts sticking it in his head. I think I know. He's going right off. Oh God! Look at that into the skull. John bend over and pick up a bundle of two. Forever means it Fucking means chucks it at Brian's back. Damn it! Look out! And that's what John Rare just did with that. That. 
Brian yells out in pain, and we see Sicko attack John with that ball he brought out. And now little Sicko with a, can, a flail of some sort. Yeah, like a medieval torture device. Look at this, right into the skull. Takes it and rapes it across John's forehead, and then he stands there in the ring and gets hyped on the hard cam. Like a juggalo. Sell the ring crew light the barbed wire on fire. Wait a minute! Where the hell did that come from? Already! First match out! Ah! You gotta be kidding! Austin's awesome going crazy and Sicko Iris whips John into it, but he ducks under. Oh no! No! He just he just slid underneath! The skin. He slid underneath! He evaded and now the fire's on the damn octagon! Just, Sicko's just back in charge and he walks up and grabs Brian but gets a low blow. And the angel of death, John Rare, escaping that pit of hell! Oh! We're seeing it already! The flames blaze on, we see Brian grab him and suplex him. And the pit, and the pit is right here in McKenzie! And what the fuck is this? Look out! Whoa! He slammed him right on the wooden Critical canvas. Suplex. And you saw him use all of his strength, his core strength. Goes for the pit on Sicko and gets a two count. Out hard! Only a two count right there. This first match of the weekend, Triple Threat, continues of the entire Carnage Cup. Fans break out into an IWA chant as we get a shot of the ring from the hard camp. Day here in McKenzie. Oh, it sure is. Acorns are falling all over all us. All over us. I can't believe it. goes on his feet and he asks for another light tube bundle. Hey, 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 hey I easy. Mean, I mean, acorns. Oh my god. Go puts it up to his head and headbutts it again. Between the eyes again! Brian White suffering the Sicko grab a tube and start fucking chewing on it. Oh my god! No wonder why he's missing teeth! Yeah, well he's Sicko stands over Brian and he takes one of the broken tubes and starts digging it into his forehead. Well that's one thing you could do and be successful at John Rare, a former Carnage Cup tournament winner! And now look at this little... Boogie just goes in his eyes and Sicko throws it and starts punching Oh, and then all those, all those, not only is he, is he opening the wound, but those toxic fumes yeah. going into the wound. And let me mention oh. to you, that fire's still burning there on the... It post. goes back in control again, he works on Brian. We're seeing right now, these guys, you can feel the heat of the fire all the way from up here. Yeah, and that referee, he better watch his ass. Got to the face by Brian, and we now, see him pick something else up, and he Sicko. clocks Sicko again. And Rare just been hanging... See Brian picking up a bundle. Maybe, maybe. Walks up to Sicko Imagine and Black. No! Oh my goodness! Brian grabs oh, onto Sicko and he turns him around and stands over his back. Now, what the fuck is this? Oh no. Grinds a broken light tube into his forehead. Make him humble. Takes a light tube and hits him with it till it breaks. Oh! Is that it? Look at that! Sicko crawls up to the camera crying out in pain. You know, Brian White, over the years. The more I Fumbles around the ring and almost goes into the fire and then says fuck it and goes for the pin on Sicko again and picks up another two count. Ruby is flowing, he ain't having a good time. Sicko rolls him into a schoolboy, but he gets a two count also. Another near fall right there. All three men battling it out. Only one will advance in the Carnage Cup 13 tournament. Sicko just yelling out on the hard cam. He reaches outside the ring and grabs a pool noodle. His lucky number. Only one will win this thing. Thing is covered in toothpicks and he grinds it into his head. United States, one of these men may actually attain that accolade. Oh. And another shot from the other camera, and John Rare all of a sudden comes in with a light tube. Wait a minute! Those phones tubes to the face, and he climbs in the ring and takes some more and breaks him over Brian. You gotta watch your back! Look at this now, the angel One starts of bending over, grabbing onto Brian, and he brings him over to the side of the ring. Now he's in control. And you gotta think the one hits him in the back and tries pushing him to the outside. The table covered in box cutters, light tubes, fireworks, and more. the fire earlier, he laid out in the weeds, he let these two... One walks up and lights the firecracker. He's back in the front. Yeah, picking up the... Prince into the ring, and we see Brian stand up, and he runs at him. What the hell? Look out! Ah! 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 Fireworks, baby! Let's go! to the match and we see the cameraman get a shot of both men laying there. Sam would be proud. But then again, he's rolling in his grave. And they're putting a fireworks show. They're putting it out. He had already seen their angles, so I zoomed in on what's going on. Firecrackers, much more deadly. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute, we're showing it again! We're showing it again so everyone look can out. see that carding! John Rare picks up a broken bundle. So loud! Back to live action! Oh, look out! 
He yells Brian right in the head and starts Brian. looking for something. Lifeless Brian White! Finds a fucking razor wire board and brings it to the ring. Blown the hill up! He got blown Brian lays there fucking lead. leaking. Look at that! Get a shot of Sicko back on his feet. Jeff as well! One rare so starts standing Brian up. Here in our treehouse! Little Sicko is painted white. Right shows now. Brian into the ring and then backs up like he's gonna run at him. Death. Decides not to and takes some tubes and hits him in the head. Meanwhile, Sicko picks up his saw chair and hits John in the back. Oh, there's spikes on that chair! Oh, and he's... he's Stands there grinding the saw blades into his back and then he throws the chair. He's gotta have a Sicko picks John right back up and throws him into the fucking razor wire. Oh my goodness! Oh, did his head hit that beam? No, but there's razor wire! I'll bust it out into a huge holy shit chant for the razor wire. Sicko takes the chair and hits Brian in the stomach. What fuck nowhere! And they love it! Pounds on Brian's back. They love the carnage. Both men are locked up for a suplex. Oh, low blow. But Brian counters with another low blow. Isolate little sicko. Brian takes Wait, sicko and spins him around. Oh. Suplex coming up. Oh! Right on the fucking yeah. saw blades, bro. Oh. Shards, those, those saw those? blades. Half a saw blades is what they oh, are. Oh, my goodness. T. John with his razor wire come back into frame. Don't give a damn when it comes to their body. John they grabs Brian by the head and just stands here. there. That's the Carnage Cup winner. And Gives Brian a big knee and starts looking for a weapon. Got a 25-yard field goal right to the See side. that big dick soldier on the right. The angel of I already knew this was about to get fucking wild, and I see John picking up the box cutter. They're both worse for wear. Walks over to them and stands there pointing into the ring. Visceral. John goes on a fucking kick rampage. Number one fans of IWA action deep south. On goes nuts and just keeps kicking both men while they're down. That's right, all the way. Oh, oh God, it kicked him right in the damn. Finally finishes with his kicks and decides to take one for Spider. Bro, he just stabbed himself in the fucking bicep with a box cutter. Carnage Cup winner in the past. Back in 2015. On cutting artery in his arm and he starts bleeding out. Can defeat both. His opponents in this opener. Well, right now he's standing king of the mountain, and that's oh, so walks sweet. around a little bit, checking out how much it's bleeding, and he grabs that broken bundle and hits Brian again. Oh no! His goddamn ball oh, sliced all the smithereens. This is dangerous, fans. And the fire. All three men lay there exhausted, and John keeps calling for rap. Huge gash in that arm. Oh no! Look at the face. Nobody was helping him. I was like, bro, what the fuck? He's calling for someone to wrap his goddamn arm up. Please, somebody. And that money. Money shot, baby. Where's my fried chicken? Switch, no, man, don't worry about I your mean, chicken the, right the, now. The blood makes me hungry. Check out my fucking angle of this. Hell yeah, John. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck him up. Fuck him up, John. Oh, shit. God damn. Oh, Self harming. Self harm rare. Yeah. Why do a bump of coke when you can stab yourself? I'm away. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, John. Light tube. Let's go. Oh. See him spin his fingers asking for a roll of tape. Let's go, John. Let's go, John. Hey, rap. Oh, shit. Look at all that blood leaking out of his fucking arm. The reason I was all up in there was because once I saw him pick up that box cutter, I knew exactly what was coming. Dude, look at all that fucking blood dripping. Okay, give me a wrap up on his bicep. Stay on top of it. If you want to see my full footage, go to the Patreon. Oh, look at that blood! Oh God! You want to eat? Echo runs up and kicks Brian, and then he starts trying to pick him up. And we get a shot of the referee taping up John's arm. CJ! Oh no! She's doing the best that she can. You gotta imagine that it's all. Referee wraps up John's arm. The bleeding. Sicko bends over and picks up some of the giant skewers and hits Brian with it. Rodeo, goddamn! He knows what to do. He'll make a Sicko stands on the trampoline and bends Brian over, but it collapses on him. This match picks him up for a package fucking pile driver. Grabs Brian and lifts him up. Tournament and weekend into the mini barbed wire trampoline. Let's fucking go! What a trampoline! Sicko is so fucking dope, and we see both men rolling around in pain. If he can cover him, he'll advance. Quite possibly so. Could be 
See Sicko go for another cover and get another two count. Shoulder up, are you kidding? You're a big this is awesome chance. This is awesome indeed. You See John walking away on the hunt for another weapon. IWA Deep South Carnage Cup, number 13, Chris Gloss, Larry Legend ringside. Sicko and Brian lay on the mat exhausted, and we see John Rear telling the ring crew what to do. It. He's still in it to win it! He sure is! All three men are! This Finally see Joe. Sicko standing up to his feet, and he grabs the barbed wire trampoline. Yeah, they all three want it! <laughs> Lifts that fucker up and throws it at Brian. Oh, no. oh! oh! The trampoline from hell right Shit literally hit him in the fucking head. This is like backyard wrestling the video game. In the middle of buck fuck nowhere. Tennessee. Sicko throws him in the ring, but the stream lags real quick. That's what I meant to say. Sicko walks back over and grabs the barbed wire trampoline. Look at that. Runs at Brian, but he kicks it into his face. Oh my god. Wait a minute, backfire. Yeah, Brian White was able to See a beat up Brian just sitting there on the apron. right there. Brian White saving his chances in this match. And quite possibly his well-being. Brian says, let's get busy and climbs off the ring. Brian White now. He's got to capitalize right now. You see him go through the crowd over to the pile of fuckery. Where's he going? Oh my gosh, look at that. Ryan picks up another big look bundle of tubes and starts walking there. towards the ring. Unreal. All of a sudden, we see John in the ring with his scythe on fire. Look out! And the now fire! Ryan laid the tubes on Sicko and takes a few steps back. What is this now? You see John and Brian goes for a splash, but the light tubes didn't break. Adjusts his position and jumps on him again. Trying it again! You're gonna have One to more time, and he still can't get it, so he just says fuck it and breaks it over. Go, fuck it! Oh. I'll write it and shoot it live! Juggalos cheer Brian on as he works on Sicko. They're certifiable! Big headbutts. And just lay there on the outside bleeding, and bro, this is just the opener of the show. And 83 of these men take, and again, even if Almost they in the ring setting shit up, and we see Brian walk over and climb in. They still have to advance and go. I put over 30,000 fucking firecrackers in the ring. Tested, so am I. Oh. We know we're going to be here all night. Don's ready to blow this bitch up, and he starts lighting it. One of these guys will as well. Oh! Don tries to throw him in, but he counters and throws John in. Ah! Classic Chris Claus scream. Oh, fuck yeah. Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Is what it looked like on the Blake O cam. Brian goes for the pin on John, and he picks up the fucking three count. That's it! Forget about it! See the ref call for the bell as Larry declares him the winner. Here is your winner! Advancing in the Carnage Cup, the Deathmatch Juggalo, Brian match was a huge fucking win for Brian. Possible upset right there. Brian White advancing in the car show. Let's take another look at this. Oh my god, there it is right there. The fireworks exploding. Finally see the ref get Brian up to his feet. And the opposition, John Rare. Good. Feeling the effects. Uh, you know what? God ain't got shit to do with this. Hail Looks like a fucking bomb went off in the ring, bro. Cup 13, because that was nothing less than one of the most dastardly, deadly things that I've I swear, this is one of the best events I've ever been to in my life. Like, literally a bomb went off, and it might, it may well as had just happened in this opening contest. See Brian thanking the crowd, and he turns around and says thank you to John. Advancing in the Carnage Cup 13 tournament, and that was only the opener. Starts bowing down to John, and he goes over to try to help him up. From all around the world, right here on the stream, xpw.com network, this is I. Ryan tells them to cheer for John as he exits the ring. 13, an entire weekend of action. The tournament commencing today. John sits there thinking about how he just got defeated in the last Saw Death match. not over yet. It's gonna be another day of Carnage beyond belief.
If you haven't ordered yet, if you have friends out there, have exhausted. Brian walks around in the grass and he takes a breather real quick. Yet, at the very least, tomorrow all the action continues throughout the entire weekend here from wherever they start cheering them on. I wish I could find a chick like that. Saturday today, October the 21st, and tomorrow, October. Brian just sits there in the grass, taking in the moment. Action we've seen so far, and we're not even close to being halfway done yet. Look how fucking dirty the ring is. Oh, and that was nothing more than pure demonology. Oh. All of the blood that was shed, the fire that was burning, the carnage that was our opening Jesus. Soul Forever Deathmatch. Remember I said, what the hell Everyone is that? Everyone makes their way to the back as they clean the ring, and that's a wrap of this match, guys. In the semifinals, we saw Brian go up against Chewy Martinez in a Fans Bring the Weapons Deathmatch. The men went at it in the ring with a shitload of fans' weapons. Do he punches a fucking pumpkin into his head? Happy Halloween! Halloween habit! Yeah! Let's go! Dewey starts picking up the trophy. Dump that shit on him. That's the Dump Things that told shit. but rubbing alcohol, salt, lemon juice, hot sauce, and ah! more. Ah! 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 Ryan's having a shit fit and he puts the trophy on his head and kicks it. Ah! Ah! Oh, that shit smells. We oh. beat him with like some kind of pool toy on a stick or something. Oh! Puto! 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 Big one! Puto! Fucking bopped him right in the head. Let's go! I love y'all motherfuckers! We lays on him and hooks the leg and gets the three count. Three! Ryan was so fucked up from that trophy, he just laid there and took the pin. Loved Carnage Cup so fucking much. Thank you so much to Kevin Brendan for letting me film. Ryan screams out in pain. Brian was okay and he ended up winning the Spider Boudreaux gauntlet the next day. <laughs> the end of the match, he ended up hooking Hillbilly into a sleeper hold. Sleeper! Brian kept the choke hold locked in, but Hillbilly had other plans. Crushed him on those thumbtacks, but he ended up keeping the hold locked in and the ref counted ah! Hillbilly out. Let's go! After the match, we got to see Brian celebrate with his girl. Echo <laughs> moved on to the semifinals where he went up against Obey in a Panes of Glass death match. Yeah. It's all about the outside. Echo went for a crazy dive through razor wire and glass. Obey counters and suplexes him onto it. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. And we're bending upside down all over the place, and we saw a crazy ass finish. Go made it to the finals where he went up against Chewy Martinez, Necro Butcher, and Bryant Woods. Stipulation for the finals was basically a House of Pain deathmatch. 
The men went through so many fucking tubes, and we saw Brian pick up Sicko in the end. Sicko was so beat up, he can't even get up, so Brian just walks up and puts one foot on him, and he gets the fucking three count. Claus declares him the winner, and he says, no, fuck that. No! No! Fuck that! No! 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 no. Start it over! Start it over! Start it over! Match is officially restarted, and Brian just destroys him with tubes. I told you, you're not done. Hey! Hey! I watched you grow up. You're more than this. Get up! This shit looks like a fucking movie. Do it for your daddy. Do it for Spider. Do it for Spider. Do it for all of them. God damn. You got it, Sicko. Get up! Oh. Kicked out again, so Bryant brought him over to the U-Haul, and they climbed on top, and he turned Sicko upside down. No! 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 Bro, Sicko literally landed head fucking first. Bryant got injured, but he ended up crawling over to Sicko and picking up the three count. But after the show, I got fucking deathmatch gold. Sicko had gashes all over him, and he was sitting in the back getting super glued shut, and his mom came up crying. Sicko takes his mom's hand and consoles her. I'm okay, I'm okay, I promise, I promise. I promise, look, trust me, squeeze my hand, squeeze my, squeeze my hand, I'm okay, I promise. I promise, relax. Stick right there. Relax, I'm okay, I promise. Head to the Patreon if you want to see the full super glue footage. I made a burner channel and uploaded it to YouTube and they denied it. This is the only place you could find this content. I was the only person back there filming. Sicko was okay also, because the next day he was jumping off the fucking U-Haul. Holy shit! 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 That box cutter spot was fucking ridiculous, bro. And I fucking loved it. Oh shit! God Floated damn. down and zoomed in. John fucking hit himself three times. I have a feeling he was paying homage to Spider. Had a feeling one was coming, but didn't expect it on himself. Started bleeding so fucking much. Unpartially paralyzed his arm from it. Some footage of him talking about the match on his channel. Ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching this, then you already know who I am, so no introduction is needed. This is Carnage Cup 13 Revisited. In my opinion, one of the greatest Carnage Cups of all time. And a huge congratulations needs to go out to the beast Bryant Woods for picking up the huge victory. And... This is just going to be a real quick recap. Unfortunately, you're going to have to listen to me, but you're going to have some cool photos, some cool videos, all mixed in with this. And this Carnage Cup, it, it had its uh, ups and downs, unfortunately. After my match, uh, I can't even remember the name. It was Saul. I know that. I can't remember the damn name of it. The final Saul or whatever. You know, unfortunately, I got a stinger really early in the match to my shoulder and limited me on everything I did and unfortunately my part and on my behalf just sucked after that. Uh, 
And to this day, I'm still dealing with it. Um, unfortunately, still partially paralyzed in this hand, unfortunately. But, uh, and you know, that's what all this shit is. But, but I can flip, wait a minute, I can flip a middle finger if I try very hard. Uh, but, you know, that was all on me. No blame on anybody else. It was simply how I fell on my shoulder. And, of course, if you didn't see the, uh, let's put, we'll put up a, a very good um, photo of the finger. I don't know if it'll pick it up very well, but lost feeling in, in the pinky, unfortunately. Uh, they said I won't be able to extend it ever again, but I can, I can wiggle it, so that's a plus. Uh, but this Carnage Cup was beyond loaded, loved every minute of it. I believe everybody stepped it up on this. The DVD is available right now. Reach out to IWA Deep South, Kevin Brandon. Uh, look at the website. IWA has a store now. Uh, I don't know the name of the store. Just look it up. I don't do this kind of information. I can barely remember shit the way it is. Uh, but, you know, it opened with the Saw match. Uh, and I, I apologize. I'm not good with names anymore. My mind is literally slipping away from me. I used to be a encyclopedia of useless knowledge. And literally, I can't remember stuff from a few days ago. Uh, the tattooed wrestler, Brian White, threw me into the 32,000 firecrackers. Now, as I mentioned, my injury really rushed this match. The inability just to use my left arm in general, half the, I mean, almost the full match, like you, that was at the beginning of the match, but I was sliced open in the pinky at the same time when I fell out through the razor wire, but the tattooed wrestler, Brian White and little sicko son of Sicko the Clown, who was in my Uber mention, a 100% true brother to the game. I love him to death. Miss him. I got in there with his son. This was the first time. And Little Sicko is not only the future of Deep South, but all these other organizations needs to be watching him as well. I'm, I'm talking to you, uh, XPW. Get Little Sicko out on the West Coast. You won't regret it. That's a guarantee. Shortly after, John Rare came out saying he's retired from Deathmatch Wrestling. I'll put a link to his channel. He did a full video breaking down the event. Check it out. Sicko just performed at XPW. <laughs> Dive was fucking insane, bro. Sicko is so fire. But I think it's about time for a giveaway. Patreon family member Nick Normal, you have won a free shirt. Got this Carnage Cup shirt lined up for you. I'll be messaging you on the Patreon for your info. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Match was fucking wild. I heard they were doing another Saw Death Match. I was like, bro, I have to be there. Originally had a three-part documentary on the Saw Death Match. I heard they were doing another at Carnage Cup. I was like, bro, I have to fucking go. The whole experience of it all was just fucking amazing. Swear to God, this and California 2 were the best shows of 2023. Just love crazy ass fucking shit. I love seeing fireworks in deathmatch, but I didn't really like that final spot. I'm also not the one that's getting slammed on 30,000 firecrackers. Can't believe John partially paralyzed his arm. Like I said earlier, thank you so fucking much to Kevin Brennan for letting me film. It was one of the best experiences of my life. I'm getting an even better camera for this year. Need your help though, you guys gotta tell Kevin to let me film. I don't know why, but YouTube fucks up the quality. Watching the original versions of it on the Patreon, you could see it in the full quality. Happy Little Sicko just performed at XPW too. Tickets are available for Carnage Cup 14, there's a link in the description. It's gonna be in the same location as last year in McKenzie, Tennessee. Kevin's putting on not only one, but two tournaments in one weekend. Hopefully I'll be seeing you at the Carnage Cup this year. You're gonna be going fucking wild. It's all going down at the shelter. Hit me up if you need more info. And the youngins commentating. This is gonna be beautiful. Can't wait to chop it up with JYs. Okay, guys, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know how you guys liked the match and what you think would have happened if Spider was still here. As always, if you'd like to see more exclusive content, head to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash channel 666. If you watch the matches on the Patreon, it's even higher quality. I don't know why. YouTube fucks it up. Been uploading insane content on there every single day. Sucks having to rebuild the whole thing, but we're back up in this bitch.
I'm still watching you fucking leeches. 60% of you guys aren't even subscribed to me. What are you fucking doing? Channel's been growing even without me posting a lot, and I can't thank you guys enough. To all you new subscribers, get ready because we're gonna be breaking down 30 years of deathmatch. If you're looking to add me on social media, hit the description. There's also a link to my Discord. You can join today and talk about deathmatch at any time. Tickets for Carnage Cup 14 have been available for months now. I highly suggest you cop a ticket, bro. This is gonna be so fucking wild. Wild. As always, I want to give a special thank you and major shout out to my Patreon family. That's Nick Normal, Scuba Steve, Demon of Strong Style, Dylan Peterson, Noah Guccinator, Gagnon, Jake Steele, Lenny Lamangino, Killer Con from Outer Space, John Klosser, Brian Fountainelle, Scott Hart, Tyler Juliet, Tom, Christian Tudor, Serban, Anthony LaRosa, Nah, I Said the Guy, and last but not least, Austin is a butthole. Rebuilding the Patreon fucking sucks so bad, bro. But hey man, I'm still here, I'm alive and kicking, so I'm uploading. Love you guys more than my experience at Carnage Cup. Wait, what am I saying? You guys fucking suck. Just kidding. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.